have the waste rock from the uh, Onik open pit when uh, Falconbridge was developing it back in 1987 and 1988. Now we've got all this big huge pile of waste rock that I think is probably seeping rain and, and snow water melt into our groundwater. They were the ones that uh, that mined many million ounces of silver in this area and they were allowed to just walk away. They left their hundred thousand dollar security deposit for the water license. They were just allowed to leave. Back in the good old days when the uh, federal government was doing the uh, environmental reviews, they were concerned that the groundwater would be contaminated, but nothing has ever been done about it. It is the most toxic mine drainage in, in uh, the Yukon. I have watched this mine when we used to be under the federal government for environmental review, and things were done much differently. They had to do the cumulative effects of all their mining activity. Now, they do not have to do that. They can just take one little tiny proposal at a time and nothing is ever sewn together. So they could basically get 50 mines up and running all in little piecemeal and we would never see what the cumulative effects would be. The Yukon Territorial Government has totally closed us out of everything. We, uh, we are not uh, considered to be stakeholders in the least, even though we're sitting here in the midst of, of all the mining activity. Mm -hmm.